Welcome to the Solemn Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Today we're doing a bit of a different video. I just wanted to have a little discussion on these Dark Magician girls, as well as unboxing some product that I had to buy to get these in the first place, as well as just, you know, the market in general. So this will be a bit of a, I don't know, general discussion video but yeah let's go for it so as you can see we managed to get six dark magician girls from the lost art promotion in total so one of these i bought online two of these i bought from a friend a very cool friend and then three i got from buying sealed product as you're supposed to do essentially so that brings us to six of the lost art dark magician girls which i will all send in for grading and we'll see what happens overall i feel five of these are strong tense and then one of them has a slightly odd corner so that might be an eight maybe if we're lucky a nine but We'll see what ends up happening. Of course, you can't just send stuff in and say like, oh, they're all 10, so we're getting all 10s. There might be a 9 uh, in here somewhere. If we get really unlucky, maybe we get only 9s. We'll see. But so yeah, what's up with these Dark Magician girls? Essentially, in America, they were sculpted to shit and they went to 110 and then they dropped back and now they stabilized at 60, which is still really odd considering they were free but you know you had way too little supply and people bought them up and so forth right now europe just got theirs and so you'll notice the coming days these will drop more yes you heard that right oh it's an investment hold forever well they're gonna drop more they already dropped to 30 over on eu a few sold for that price though so we'll see what happens there but as the amount goes up uh, well, you'll see, you'll see. I think the price will go down and then over time, once it stabilizes, go back up. So I bought one of these and now don't go and say, oh, it's an investment, you guys. This is modern product. This is purely, you enjoy the game. You look at these cards and you're like, you know what? I think these are pretty cool. Yeah, they are cool, but they're not investments. They're mass produced to shit. I see right now so many people hyping up Pokemon and opening all of this modern product and going, I'm investing in ETBs, you guys. You're buying at MSRP or higher than MSRP, hoping for some Charizard so you get some clout. And then you notice, hey, they're all dropping because everyone is opening them up. Ooh, these are very nice. Those Dark Magician girls. They would be cool in slabs, but I don't actually think they're any anything useful. We have these decks. I do really like these. This is literally Flavor Town. Look at this. Look at this. We literally have just anime garbage dicks. And again, none of this is investable. This is literally like, well, I can either go online and buy these Dark Magician Girls for 40, or I can get some free product because I want the Dark Magician Girls and like the rest is just bonus. So let's see what we got here, you know. But yeah, I, I expect them all to drop. They'll drop and drop and drop as the European amounts roll in. And then people notice, hey, there's actually not that many. And then they'll gradually go up. Oh, look at that. Look at these god cards. That's very cool. And we have an Exodia card. This is Yugi's deck, I suppose. Oh yeah, we have the full Exodia set. Necros, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. MFC Dark Magician Girl is so iconic. Uh, the artwork, of course. We have all of these. Do oh, Marshmallow. Cold Sark, Swords of Revealing Light. Yeah, this is literally, this is Yugi's deck. Really cool. Oh, and we have a Yugi token. That's pretty cool. Of course, none of this is random. Uh... I just have never bothered to check what's in these, so it's all a surprise to me. And I figured we could just have some uh, opening fun relaxation. What else do we know? We saw Logan Paul actually confirm that he did indeed buy the base set booster box of Pokemon for $198,000. So 200k essentially. Uh, that has been confirmed. He showed it off on his Instagram and blah blah blah. And then we noticed a lot of people verified with 100s, thousands of followers and so forth, all saying, oh, they're looking into it. So be prepared. Pokemon is about to become incredibly expensive. Oh, also look at that. This card is damaged in the package. I don't know if you can, well, you probably can't see that. Let's not bother. But this card is damaged. This is, this immediately went to medium play. <laughs> Melody of Awakening Dragon. Very cool. Blue Eyes Ultimate. Oh, this is the art. This is that SDK art. It's really sad that these are all different arts because like if you were trying to have like Kaiba's deck, you'd have this one three times. Now you have all these randoms. Regardless, it's cool. It's cool. We have a Kaiba man, Force Raider. I remember having this in a tin. 
amazing. King of the Swamp, Poly, Shrink, Silent Doom. Okay, like, you're not buying these for any... Oh, beautiful Kaiba token. Okay, and then finally we have the Red Eyes deck right here. So yeah, Logan Paul actually confirming like, hey, I did indeed buy these cards for this price. That's just telling you, yeah, this entire market is going to blow up even more. Like we've already been seeing people say, oh, it's a bubble for like years. But now, now you're going to really see something. That's insane. I thought it would start cooling off like a few months ago already, but it just keeps going. Blackstone of Legend, Return of Red Eyes, Red Eyes Flare Metal. I uh, wish it was the starter deck Joey art. Baby Dragon, Jinzo. So many iconic cards. Time Wizard. This is very cool. And then a Joey token. Beyond that, we had confirmation about a private deal where a Charizard base set first edition PSA 10 sold for $150,000. Now, whether this was Logan Paul as well, we don't know, but it did sell for that. So once again, Pokemon market is going to explode even more. And that will, as far as I'm aware, but there's no financial advice, also have effect on Yu-Gi-Oh. I think this will just further push, you know, towards people just believing that these are assets that will keep on going up. Now, of course, we'll probably have a cool off period, some dips and so forth. But long term, I feel they're right. Look at these Dark Magician girls. So iconic. There's so many reasons. Like, I'm not saying this will ever become anything like a nostalgic card. This will not become a vintage kind of MFC Dark Magician Girl kind of card. But I think this will remain wanted for a very long time. I can imagine these dropping and then, you know, the hype around buying these out will vanish. The last few will gradually vanish off the market. And then the PSAs will just start going up. You know, those 10s, maybe those 9s. I don't know about 9s, honestly, but the 10s, yeah, definitely. Very exciting. Anyway, we have some more structure decks. Again, um, I'll go through these once nicely. And then the rest I'll just murder. Because you technically know what's in there. Wow. I completely destroyed the box. I basically just chose some structure decks that... I could see myself playing, you know, some rogue, tier 2, trash. That's still just very fun. So I picked Cyber Dragon. I'm a big Cyber Dragon fan. Some strategy guide thing. I literally don't know what's in here. I was just like, oh, Cyber Dragon, that's cool. Oh, we have Cyber Dragon Nova. You overlay that, right? And then you try to go for infinity. Is that it? So we have our Nova. Cyber Twin. Why do you put Cyber Twin in? This card is so mediocre. Uh, dry, Core, Cyber Dragon, Zwei... Another Cyber Dragon, Proto, Cyber Valley. Okay, I think you have like the main cards in here though. Also a lot of jank, but the main cards are in here. Cyber Repair Plant, okay. Super Poly we got already. Limited Removal. You don't have a Cyber Emergency though. That's pretty sad. So without Cyber Emergency, this deck won't go very far. But I don't know if they actually reprinted this yet. So yeah, once the Pokemon hype with Logan Paul catches on and we see more of these influencers, I think we will see even more for Yu-Gi-Oh! And now I saw a lot of people go, oh, this ruins the market because, you know, there's collectors who will now get priced out. And that's true. But on the other hand, if you're a collector and you already own some nice cards, those will also likely go up. But yeah, if you're a pure collector at heart and don't care about the investment side... You're not going to like what's going to happen. And I think the same will happen to Yu-Gi-Oh. So I'm not telling you to go crazy by everything. But you know, if there's certain cards that you really want to have, like it's your goal. And you're like afraid that they will vanish and like keep going up. I think they will. <laughs> but we'll see. We could also see an, uh, a cool off period. So... Hard to say, hard to say. Yeah, we saw all of these already. Let's go for a dino deck and then just end the video right there. As far as Yu-Gi-Oh goes, obviously the biggest news was the Cyberstein selling for that insane amount. I don't know. These Dark Magician girls though, like, I'm very excited for them. I think PSA 10, most collectors will like have one or two. And that's gonna be a big deal. What's up with this dino deck? Per, per, petitranodon? That's so adorable. My girlfriend's gonna be hype when she sees that. How the fuck do you open these fucking packs though? Never mind. All this fucking plastic is sticking to me as well. This thing is adorable. Holy shit. Ultimate Conductor. Oviraptor. Okay, you've got some good shit in here. Lost World. Survival's End. 
Okay, some absolute garbage. Oh, I remember this one. I used to have the original dino structure deck and this was like the boss and then this was the backup. Is that possible? Something like that. But I do remember this being the boss. Uh, obviously now it's probably garbage. This was in there as well. This as well. This as well. That's pretty crazy that they still put these in there because I doubt they're actually good. Oh, this was also a big deal. This as well. I, I imagine right now it really isn't. Oh, the Ojamas. If you ever watched GX. So many traps, holy fucking shit. Okay, so it looks like the only value is like these two and maybe one of the spells. Is there a pill? Maybe fossil dig? Yeah, I think fossil, like this, is this the good cards? I don't know, let me know in the comments. I suck at this game. So yeah, that will be the video. I could surely like unbox these as well, but that would get really boring really quickly. So these were, were just a quick update video, you know, you never know. Where if you're not following all of these sources very closely, maybe you didn't know about Logan Paul or the 150,000 Charizard and so forth. So, hope this was interesting. Hope this was fun. Like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.